Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is day 424 on my journey to 2000 where I play a game of chess every single day, put it on YouTube for folks to watch, and I follow my progress on chess.com. One yesterday, which is nice, it's nice to get a W every once in a while, and uh, today's game I'm going to be hyper-focused on just developing and castling soon so that... Nobody yells at me in the comments section. Let's see what I'm playing today. Ah, uh, yes. Ali Akbar, 1316. Never mind. He wasn't ready for it. Ah, but CBVNBM might be out of Israel. We've got the Vienna game. Let's see if he comes out with the knight. He does. Let's see if he pushes to d5. Or if he takes. Uh, comes down with bishop to b4. And... <clears throat> Let's see, do I take here? I think I'm gonna take here. And then. I'm gonna take here. Wait, no. Where am I gonna castle? Because I need to finish developing and castling. I could actually take the knight, but that would help develop their queen. But they would have to get rid of this. So if I take, they'd probably come back here. This is where my focus on openings probably will uh, will be helpful. Focusing on developing. Let's develop and attack at the same time. Fell for it again. They come here, and then they've got a discovered attack. Is there a way out of it? If I take, take. I'm gonna have to go on the hyper attack. This, and they got this. Yeah, maybe I do take. I take this, and then I try and get something going here, but. <sighs> this. Okay. So this is probably good because if they move with check, then I can take the queen. Okay, so not all is lost quite yet.
Either queen, okay. Threaten the queen again. Let's see, I think I have this. This exchange they take. Or this. <sighs> I think I'll have to do the exchange. Developing and castling didn't really um, didn't really pan out for me this game so far. I should have seen that that queen h four move. Well, I know what move, what opening I'm setting next. It's uh, Bishop B4 and the Vienna Gambit. I don't see what... <clears throat> Significantly worse. 
but I developed and I'm going to be able to castle. Doing that because if they can get their bishop on b7, then they can have this diagonal, and after a castle, they could take my knight. And if I move the knight, then they can protect theirs. So now I can take the knight. CBVN BM 1456 out of Israel. So now I can do this and I've got set up for this. But I don't want to exchange material right now. So I think I'll go here, attack this, this will move here. this text this so they might do this which then I can check on this pawn and I've got a check here to win the bishop back material here.
This attacks this pawn, so it prevents the knight from moving. So back rank right now wins, but how to get there? This would mean this, which would just mean this. So I can go there now. And then they go, then they couldn't attack this, okay. Maybe this is my move. here This is gonna do something, that's for sure. If they come down and check, then I go here. They'd have to go back, otherwise, I take. I think maybe these pawns need to be pushed.
fascinating. Oh, oh, I missed it. Dang it. And they missed taking this pond. But now I've got a discovered check. Whew, 17 seconds left. I think I've I've actually lasted longer than I thought I would in this game, to be honest. Um, let's I don't know. I don't really know what what's going on here now. I ran out of time. Dang it. Thank you for the game, C B B N B N. Mm. They played pretty well. There's definitely some learnings to do in this opening. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, that was a blunder. And I did take the, the palm, which was the best move. Okay, so all this is best move, except here. Should have developed, attacked, and attacked. Hmm. But this was also a miss. <clears throat> oh, not only this queen move not only attacked and attacked, but it also defended. So this is by far, if that would have happened, I would have maintained a one. What, 2.66 advantage? And then their best move is d5 to defend this. And I could take, but I don't know if I would because I'm pawn grabbing. They go e7, which is acceptable. And then the engine legs h6. Oh, wait, no, they wouldn't go e7. Oh, they're saying king e7. Sorry, not not rook f8. I don't know if they would do that. I think they would go here. Because if this, then I can throw in this check. They can't defend here. <clears throat> so they might take, I recapture. King goes back. And then their their structure, pawn structure is all messed up. This will attack and then castle eventually. Yeah, 
and this is still good for me. But that's not what happened. Um, I did defend, which was a great move. I still had the advantage here. They took, and I made a great move here. They made the best move, and unfortunately, this was a blunder. If I would have gone rook to g1, that would have solved all my problems. I think I was just so convinced that this was a losing position and I had already blundered. I didn't realize that I actually had the advantage here. After rook g1, attacking the, the knight, my pawns defended, so moving this is going to be necessary. They probably go back h5. I could, no, I couldn't take because it's defended. <clears throat> I could then come in and attack the queen. Queen would retreat either to e6 or f5. Let's say f5. And then I could attack again, but then they could always go back. Let's say they retreated back here. I say rook g2, but why? Knight c6 coming in. Oh, rook d2 to attack this pawn. <clears throat> Eventually, after this, attacking the queen. Yeah. Oh, wait, rook g2. I don't know rook g2. Maybe to defend this pawn after the pawn, this knight moves away. Uh, no, it's not even under attack at that point. In any case, um... Two blunders, two really big mistakes back to back on my end. This knight move, which was met with a great move going to g2, and then this queen move, which resulted in them gaining a rook for free. And that exchange is what really cost me the game. I, even though I did manage to get back to even, <clears throat> I made a lot of good moves. Good move, good move. Good move, best move, good move, best move, best move. That's an inaccuracy. They wanted me to take with the, uh, if I would have taken with the rook, the game would have been dead even. King h8. And push this if it takes. Why wouldn't they take back? They're saying d3 here, why? Or d4? Oh, this one, threatening a check there. They'd go, they'd go check. I'd go here. back to defend this pawn and at that point I could take and I'd have an advantage man um, <clears throat> but I didn't see that rook to d1 was the best move though and then retreating the bishop back was bad I should have gone King d2 to defend and activating my king. Makes sense now, thinking about it. Um, then they bring out their knight, which is the best move. Good move, best move. Mistake, should have retreated it back again. 
mistake there. They should have doubled up the rooks, um, but I didn't capitalize on it. Capitalizing on it meant pushing this to force this. Instead of that, this move, oops. This move would have been it takes, then takes, and I'm that's checkmate after this. So the best way against this would be it put if they push, then I just go e7. Oh, but they'd probably come in and and defend an attack with knight c7. Um, or knight c5. Or knight c7. Knight c7 is probably better because knight c knight c5 is attacked by the bishop. So here, and then I just push, and then they can bring this to block. But then I take. Oh, I don't take right away. The engine likes this. I think this is where tactics will really come in as I do more and more puzzles. But yeah, once they got their bishop or their rook back, that got rid of that threat. And it was hard to really play until I got my pawns into the game. And then right here, the game was dead even as well. I just didn't see the... Uh, taking the pawn, which until it was too late. So if I would have taken this pawn, g7, and then I, oops, and then I go back here, and the game's dead even. But I didn't, I blundered this piece. And then the rest of the game is history. I ran out of time. But there you have it, folks. Uh, day 424. N not my best game. Uh, a lot of learning opportunities. But I think when I see this opening again, I'll be ready. All right. Cheers.